Under current law, lesbian and gay Americans with spouses from abroad have no ability to sponsor their spouses for residency, impacting some 36,000 couples. This upcoming election could decide the fate of these couples. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Own the Vote. I'm Robert Trainum, and my guest is Steve Rawls, Director of Communications for the Immigration Equality Action Fund. Steve, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. We are days away from a presidential election. Millions of Americans will go to the polls, and they will decide who our next president is going to be for the next four years. The main issue primarily is the economy. Obviously, the, um, the economy is kind of puttering along, if you will. But there is a secondary conversation, as you know, Steve, that's happening, and it's about immigration overall. There are literally folks out there that says, you know what, let's build a fence. Let's keep, quote, unquote, these people out. We have to make sure um, that uh, our borders are secure. There are others that are saying, well, wait a minute here. We are a melting pot. We are a society of all races, all cultures, the more the merrier. Let's talk about immigration overall first, and then we'll talk about the gay and lesbian uh, aspect of this. Where is the immigration debate headed today? Well, there's one point of agreement on both sides of the issue. The United States immigration system is broken. It hasn't been reformed in decades. It needs to be reformed. There are some big questions about providing a pathway to citizenship for individuals who have been in the country for many years. And that's the so-called DREAM Act, correct? And that's for young people, correct. A pathway to citizenship for people who were brought here as young children. And President Obama has provided some, some temporary relief for those individuals. And there are other hot button topics like uh, employment authorization for individuals. Um, and then just the bigger conversation about will America continue to be a nation of immigrants that, that opens its, its borders and its arms and provides opportunities to people seeking refuge here. So that's the philosophical argument, as you and I mentioned a few moments ago at the 30,000 foot level. I mentioned a few moments ago, Steve, 36,000 uh, gay and lesbian individuals in this country are impacted by a, uh, I don't want to say a flaw in the system, but perhaps maybe an outdated um, uh, law that is currently on the books that says what? Under current law, a U.S. citizen with a same-gender spouse or partner from abroad has no ability to sponsor that individual for residency or for a green card. So they live with the constant threat of being separated or of being forced into exile. And what we're really talking about, if we can put a human face to this, we're talking about families uh, that perhaps could be broken up permanently. Uh, I mentioned 36,000 couples. Of that, 40% have children. So hypothetically, you have a family, let's say it's in any town America, they're living their life, they're paying their taxes, they're doing everything that every other American does. But all of a sudden, they get a knock on the door. One of those spouses has to go home, back to the home country because of whatever the, uh, whatever the law dictates. That family is now broken up. Does that happen pretty frequently? That literally happens. Uh, immigration Equality worked with a family recently in San Francisco, two partners who had been together for over 20 years, 12-year-old twin sons, and one morning that knock happened on their door. Immigration officers came in, handcuffed one of the mothers, put her in the back of a van, in front of her young children and were in the process of trying to remove her from the United States. Her wife in California had no power to stop them, nor did her children. May I ask, what a horrible story, may I ask what is the status today? Is, is one of the moms still away? They are together in, in California thanks to intervention by Senator Dianne Feinstein, who really took an unprecedented action on their behalf as an individual family to keep them together. Steve, I'm, I mentioned a few moments ago that we are days away from a presidential election. Obviously, uh, President Obama is running for re-election. Mitt Romney wants his job. Uh, during the Republican presidential primaries, Mitt Romney has said, you know what, if you are an immigrant here and you're here illegally, perhaps maybe you should self-deport. Uh, President, Ob and I'm paraphrasing here, President Obama said that is not really realistic here. Uh, let's, let's break down for a few moments here where both sides stand on this issue. Do you know where President Obama stands on the issue when it comes to same-sex couples and immigration policy? We do. In recent weeks, President Obama and his administration issued a written order to field officers who are reviewing immigration cases, instructing them if they have an individual who has a gay or lesbian partner or spouse, that they would be a low priority for deportation. He has vowed to keep these families together, and to date, he has kept his word. And what about Governor Romney? 
Governor Romney hasn't said what he would do with that order. Uh, he's been very silent on immigration, really across the board, but especially as it applies to lesbian and gay families. Uh, we don't know what his policy would be, and that uncertainty is very worrying to a lot of families. Okay, and that's one side of the coin. I assume the other side of that coin is perhaps maybe he's persuadable. Perhaps maybe he hasn't thought about this issue. Uh, perhaps maybe he is um, someone that is being quiet on purpose, maybe because he doesn't want to alienate the, the right side of the party. I mean, is that wishful thinking on my part? Well, Governor Romney had a very progressive record on gay issues as governor of Massachusetts. What he has said as a presidential candidate, however, is that he would support a constitutional amendment uh, banning gay marriage. That has a very direct impact on gay and lesbian immigrant families. The Defense of Marriage Act prevents them from obtaining that green card they so desperately need. Mitt Romney has said he supports that law. Steve, we have a few seconds left. For the gay and lesbian uh, individuals that are watching this program now, or even for the straight couples or straight individuals that are watching this program right now, what information do they need to know going into the voting booth this come November? They need to be educated about the, the candidate's position on this issue. They need to understand this is about families who are their neighbors, about children who are going to class with their sons and daughters, and whether those families will be together or whether they will be torn apart, and both candidates need to be asked their plan for keeping those families intact. All right, Steve Rawls, Director of Communications for Immigration Equality, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. And of course, thank you for joining us for this edition of Own the Vote. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time, and make sure you vote.